Hi and welcome to this week's Intuition Insight with me, Ruth Ann Richards. I'm the creator of the Intuition Connection and author of Reclaim Your Intuition, a book and oracle. Each week I share an Intuition Insight to help us stay connected to our intuition for the week ahead. And I use my own oracle, Reclaim Your Intuition, and this week's guidance is connections. So... When you hear the word connections, when you see this message, just notice what what comes up for you. Are there some connections in your life at the moment? And connections can be people, it can be connected to objects, circumstances, events, places. Are there connections in your life that perhaps it's time to move away from? Perhaps time to lessen the attachment to? So it's not talking about breaking a connection immediately. This is just asking you to notice what is there going on in your life that drains your soul. Perhaps you have a really good friend you love dearly, but when you've spent a lot of time with them, you come away and you just feel like your soul has been drained. There are some people you come away from and you feel uplifted. So this really is about those people, places, objects, experiences that drain that drain your soul, that don't provide you with a nourishing connection anymore. You may not be able to break that connection immediately. And as I said, that's not what this is about. This is about just knowing for yourself intuitively and in your soul what the connections that nourish your soul and that you need more of in your life and what are the connections you need to spend less time on and with. It could be a place that you have to go to that has a certain memory for you and perhaps that memory has lost its strength of attachment anymore so you don't need to keep revisiting that place. Um, It could be an object you have in your house. Every time you look at it, it brings back a bad memory. You know, in that case, it may be time to remove that object from the house. Um, It could be, you know, circumstances or events that you keep replaying in your mind. And when you keep replaying those things in your mind, it stops you from being in the present because it keeps taking you back to the past. So that connection to the past and that event may need your attention and some nurturing from you to help you stop and break that cycle of reliving what happened in the past because it may not be nourishing you in the future and in the present. So that's the guidance for this week. Think about connections. Think about everything and everyone you're connected to and start noticing the things that perhaps you need less connection to and the ones that you need more connection to. That's the guidance this week. I wish you a wonderful week and I will be back next week with the next Intuition Insight. Until then, take care. Bye.